Hello, and welcome back to the world of RimWorld with me, your guide, Nick at Night. Last we left our brave colonists here in the hungover colony. They had just finished taking care of and killing three thumbelows. Thumb, thumb, thrumbos. Uh, several of our characters have recovered, though two of our characters who were fighting, Dave and Zebo have developed infections, one in the torso and the other in the right arm. This is worrying, it is a major infection and it is 60, they're at 62% um, through their immunity. If it goes to extreme, I might have to consider operating, well, there's not much to do when it's in the torso, but I might have to consider operating on the right arm of Dave here. We have enough money to potentially buy a new arm for him, which is great. But we have to wait for somebody to come by, which is a bummer. We also realized that we need to work on a little bit more of our protection. And we are bringing in our probably our last crop. If not our last crop, then nearly. So we're going to get underway. We have brought in our second crop of cotton. And it's looking quite nice. Uh, we're gonna be bringing in our corn here quite soon. Our um, medical herbs, our smoke leaf. Our, we're harvesting our strawberries, our rice and our hops. So things are looking up. It looks like we have an abundance of food to the point where we are actually have so much extra food that we have looked at potentially or actually are transferring in the middle of transferring food over to this new uh, walk-in freezer that's what I'm calling it at least so we have a pirate merchant ooh okay that might be what we've been looking for actually this whole time where's Travismo way down there I know I feel like I go through this every time. Uh, who is even half decent social? Anna, where are you? Okay, great, you're not that far away. Why don't you call the pirates and see if they got some new arms for our family members here, or colony. Ooh, um, that's a simple prosthetic leg. Bionic arm, they just got one though. Well, there's a very high chance that we're going to end up using this thing. Simple prosthetic arm. Should I get that just in case? Mm, no. No, we're, we'll hold off on that one. I think we'll, yeah, we'll hold off on that. Anyways, what can we sell? We don't have any beer. We have a decent shotgun, some clothes here. Some of poor quality, I'm happy to sell those. The good quality or the used items, not a big deal, we can get rid of those. Some shoddy, oh, that, they're trying to sell me that. No, I don't want any shoddy stuff. Thank you though, <laughs> appreciate it. All right, armored vest. Those armored vests are really irritating because they keep picking them up and it's just, it's affecting their mood, especially when they get really low um, like this. And I can't ever get them to actually take it back to the stockpile so that we could sell it at some point because the biggest problem is they don't, they immediately pick it up and wear it as opposed to, well, taking it to the stockpile. So I'm sure that'll be fixed in later versions, but for now, that is what we are dealing with. Uh, we are increasing our supply of turrets here just so that if they get past our main bank here of our five turrets, then we have another three. It's just gonna be a nice shooting gallery shooting at anybody coming down. I'm gonna order our guys to take care of those two areas right here so that there's no cover that anybody could take under. And I'm going to be extending our area up here for more turrets. Just a few, just two. Ooh, we have a relationship. Uh, it's 
from people wandering in, I guess. From, uh, it, they have a relationship with Carla. Yeah. Sisters. Okay, interesting. Um, they're not natives, I don't think. No, they're from the town. All right, caravan. Yep, that's these guys. Gotcha. Cool. Well, we'll have more to trade. Hopefully, they have another bionic arm we could buy. That would be super awesome. And we're going to try to tame this turkey. I think that would be really cool to have a nice little herd of turkeys. Just And, you know, we can feed them and build a little home for them. Maybe make this a little turkey area. I don't know. Wild boar revenge. But he's downed. Nate, you, you pretty much killed him. All right. Whatever. Great. And we are still doing well on power. Yep, quite a bit of power coming in, which is going to be nice. And, of course, something blew up, right, as we were talking about that. Oh, no! All of our stuff is on fire. All right, guys, get in there quickly. Move, move, move. Put out the flames. Before it destroys everything. Oh gosh. Bunch of our clothes that we need for getting into winter. That was a huge bummer. Oh well. Time to start hauling all the stuff in, all the food in particular, since our initial fridge here is totally full. We're gonna have to be hauling it quite a bit further over to the new walk in freezer. I'm not going to mess with these guys about doing anything because I really do want them to focus on hauling. But Travismo, I do want you to come down here real quick. Talk with our nice friends. Okay, so they have some animals to sell. Uh, we could sell also. They got some medicine. Ooh, they have... No, that's ours. All right, for a second I got really excited thinking that they were willing to sell a bionic arm to us. That is not the case. Oh, cool. Yep, we'll sell our shitty armored vests and all the stuff that just caught on fire because our people won't wear it. Just to be understood. I don't know if I'd wear anything with holes in it because it was on fire either. Let's see. Anything else? Some stuff that took some damage. That's a real bummer have that happen wait there's two of them they're both the same I have to look into that before I sell that all right well made a little bit of money um, saving up for another bionic arm most likely let's check back on Dave up oh, you're up and around all right they have developed immunity. And Zebo, you've developed immunity. So I don't have to worry then about having to cut your guys' arms off. Though Zebo has his left foot torn off. Wait, who had their fingers torn off? I thought it was an arm we needed. Yeah, Travismo. Okay. We are going to set a bill to install a arm for you. Install bionic arm. It says left index finger, so install bionic left shoulder. But Zebu actually does not have an have a foot. Which I can understand, yeah, that makes it really hard to get around. Had I known that, I might have. I don't remember if these guys had... Uh... Alright, send Travismo back down here to talk to them real fast again, because I didn't think they had a foot for us, but in case they did... No. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Tai Taiyaki. Alright, so Zebu, Zebo, sorry... We are going to install a left peg leg. Peg leg left. There we go. 
Travismo is being put under because we're putting in his new arm, his new bionic arm. Anesthetic has been applied. Come on. Yeah, all right. He has a new left shoulder bionic arm, which replaces, he has bionic fingers, so it replaces the ones that he had torn off. So he has enhanced manipulation. So he actually gets stuff done a lot faster. So when it comes to crafting, research, mining, cooking, he'll actually get a bonus, which is great. Great, great, great. And Zebu, where are you? All right, you're up in your place, your little home. All right. So we are still bringing in our food. There's a ton of blood from when we were fighting those giant white thumb thumbos thumb thumbro thrombos just from them getting shot and us shooting them and them pecking and hitting us but breakdown battery oh no all right we are actually losing 110 power Hmm. Is that due to the fact that we're using stuff and we're not getting anything off the wind? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's not a big deal then. All right. Let's look at some security. We want a few more turrets here. As people come in, we can shoot them. That's ideal. I'm contemplating about putting a handful right here at the front. So, essentially, if they get through this mess, they can have another battery that they're they're going to be getting shot by. Yeah, I might do that if we run out of things. Uh, there. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of steel left. Shoot. Hunter lacks weapon, Dave. Caravan. They're a well, good trader. Oh, great. Someone else to trade stuff with, I guess. I think we are looking for somebody particularly in exotic goods, if I'm not mistaken. Because we'll be able to sell our statues. But this will do. Travismo. Being a good guy and hauling all that away. I want you to trade real quick. Alright. Nutrient paste meals? Nope. Those are not fun for people to eat. And because of that, I don't want to get them. Sell some meals. <clears throat> At this point, we do have enough food. Holy cow, just potatoes. We have 1,600. Nope. 2,000 potatoes, basically. A ton of rice. Let's sell off like 500. Why won't this work? 500. Okay. some reason I can't just type in I actually have to go across the slider and I actually have to click every single time that's a little irritating all right we'll stop at probably 200 I know this is super exciting for all of you watching in the world of YouTube and Twitch Finish that up. All right, let's see if there's anything here that we can substantially make a profit on or willing to buy from these guys. Um, no, we could potentially buy some of this stuff because it's involved in making medication and different types of drugs, which I know we'll be doing because we want to make medicine kits that we can sell to people as they come by. 
We could buy steel. Ooh, cheap too. How much would that cost? All your steel. All right, we'll buy all the steel. Why not? And we'll just sell. No, I think we're gonna keep the hops because we wanna make as much beer as possible. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now about that. Can't They don't want any durable medicine. Wish we could sell some of that. Oh well. We have a ton of different skins and such. Maybe I should just sell off. See, we don't have a different section. Oh yeah, we have rice up here. We'll sell all that rice, sell all that rice. We'll sell. Five hundred potatoes or so. Feeling quite confident as we go into this winter. It's the tenth of summer, so we got plenty, and we're just bringing in the majority of our major crops right now. So, if anything, what needs to happen is people need to get off their butts and go out there and collect the food, because the other animals are going to start eating it. Thank you, Warg. Uh, what's your name again? Buffy. Buffy the Warg. They're reseeding some of the strawberries. What I really want you guys to do is bring the f stuff in. Anna, stop doing that. Prioritize hauling medicine. Yep, yep, yep. Pick it all up. Pick it up. Pick it up. All of it. Great. How much medicine was there? A ton. Great. Yeah, I don't want stuff going bad out here just because it's getting rained on. And that is exactly what is happening right now. Exactly what's up. Wanderer has joined. Oh boy. A villager named Nails has arrived and is joining your colony. She is a factory worker. Oh my goodness. Nails, you sound very badass. 49 year old female. You're getting medical attention. Feeling bad, wearing worn out clothing. Constrained. Great, you're a nudist. He's happier without it, trigger happy, and has an annoying voice. So most people are going to dislike you highly. Hold, why don't you ha haul the gold back at least to the base? So we don't have to worry about that. The steel out here, I guess, is just going to... Or the corn is just going to rot. Alright, the smoke leaf is being gathered up now. Go Zebo. Did we ever? Yeah, we installed your peg leg. So your walking efficiency is 60%. It's better than 50. Could have been much worse. Why don't you prioritize holing in all that corn? All right, goodbye, guys. We'll see you later. Come back and visit us in Hungover Town when we have more alcohol for you to buy and drink and be merry with us. Mm -mm. Carla, you haul all that in. Sick of seeing this stuff d go bad out here. Okay, bringing in the smoke leaf. Great. What is that? Oh, that must be the steel that we bought from them. Great. The hops are going bad out here, guys. Come on. A little quicker, please. Come on. I know it's not your favorite thing in the world, hauling things from place to place, but it is necessary. So necessary. <clears throat> I'm really contemplating about making an access door here for uh, the purpose of them running in and out down here to just put stuff directly into the freezer. Yeah, this is all going bad, real bad. Anna, I don't want you to keep trying. No, the smoke leaf won't be ready in time. So just pick up all the hops you can. Let's let's be honest. We all know you're alcoholics, and we need as much hops to make as much beer as possible. Fact. All right. Okay, you're getting the smoke leaf. Great, great, great. Just keep hauling in. Mike, I don't want you planting. I need keep the. I gotta keep these guys. You don't haul. Oh, great. Okay, never mind. Just keep sowing the fields then. Anna, please tell me you're... What are you doing? 
What are you doing? No, no, no. Bring in these crazy psychotropic plants that we planted. We're going to use them in making more health kits for everybody. Keep everybody all healthy. Well, I know this is thrilling for all of you, but I'm going to have to save the suspense for next time in the world of RimWorld at the Hungover Colony. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next episode.